one, baby. <laughs> and that one was my MK. <laughs> I don't understand either. At this point, it's in his head, but it's more for him than it is for me. But um, I'm interested to see how this is going to go because Zone is obviously going to know Brad pretty well. And, uh, Does he know one. Brad's Lucario? That is the question. Does he know the Lucario? <laughs> so obviously, Brad's going to want to look for those early percent grabs. It's pretty much the only way he's going to be able to get that damage. Good stuff. Respecting the pin off the back air. That's that's the special every Corrin goes for. The, the back air pin. Yeah. Yep. Oh, dude. It's so good. There we go. This is going to be a very uphill battle for Brad. It's going to be literally a case of playing extremely dry and getting the punches when they come. But you cannot force anything because this ridiculous counter. He need, yeah, he needs to make sure to be able to survive as long as possible so that you know, he has that improved aura sphere so that he can force the approach from zone. He has those incredibly powerful safe aerials like that back air to just take out the stocks. 86% off stage. Still hanging in there. He's now in dangerous dangerous aura percent, but not all oh, that back air covering the button perfectly. Beautifully sort out with that back air right there. Zone having a comfortable lead versus an LT Brad in this game. I wonder if this ends up being a particularly one-sided set, will we see, or one-sided game, will we see the potential swap to one of Brad's other characters, like of course his old Falco, maybe uh, even the Game & Watch. Uh, I can see the Game & Watch maybe, but the Falco is dead to the world. <laughs> the Falco is a, is a cooked bird. Yeah, that, that is a dodo, man. <laughs> it's it's Ooh, it's the, the attempt, but it would not have killed at this point. Like, Ops is actually one of the moves that like get, gets the biggest boost of all. It's so bad. Now. But um, I can see this being like a very dominant set for Zone. Not because Brad is a bad player, but because this is a notably bad match for Lucario. Yeah. Corrin can surprisingly suffocate quite a few rather solid characters. Even even characters like good characters like Rosalina can struggle versus this character Corrin. Had time, of course. And this is going to be a case of weathering this storm for Brad. Hoping he can manage to take, get rid of this stock and maybe... St oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Gone with the wind with that forward smash pitch. So, one thing I've noticed with Brad's play, and it kind of shows... It doesn't show so much when he plays more fundamentally sound characters. But when he's playing a character like this, it's more obvious is that he's a bit of a tech wizard in that he wants to go for the most technical option or like the, you know, the most fancy option he can at any given time. So if he can do a wall jump or a spare wave bounce, he's going to do it. And I feel like Zone kind of capitalized on that. Yep. Saw, of course, right at the end. Just a very simple forward smash. That's what he needs to do. The main thing I believe that seems difficult in this matchup for Lucario is just getting out of this advantage versus Corrin. Corrin having such big hitboxes that occupy so much space and time. Really difficult for a character like Lucario who doesn't have the best frame base in the world. Beautiful pivot grab. Oh, that is some fun That is unsafe, my guy, but it's good not punish because it's on the button. Back Good air, Lord. so strong. Sending that charge bar your, about. Charge the ball. Bounce yeah. yeah. very strange. I feel like that was a I like a that. glimpse of his uh, Falco right there. Made sense as a Falco option, not so much as Lucario one. Yeah, your old habits die hard, my man. Yeah. How many times have you gone for a back air since? With other characters. Yeah. A bit too often. <laughs> Oh, and that was... Speaking of back air, yeah. Clipped right the edge once again by Zone. Silly back air from all these characters. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the ace in the hole, Brad is gone now. And he needs to weather the storm and try and take this back without going too far behind. See, just 
zone when he's in advantage. He's waiting for Brad's option a lot. Regardless of whether or not it's defensive or offensive, zone always seems to be out of range of it. And Brad now being lapped by zone. Zone making this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait. We have all that. seen this situation before. That's a oh, oh, yeah, dash grab. Know, yeah, yeah don't be falling for that. Don't be falling for that. Oh, that, no punish for the counter either. Maybe out of range that time. Yep, yeah, the, good rollback. The, the, the standard current. Finally gets a power shield grab. 25% off of that. He's only at 101. That said, he is up for a kill percentage here. Very nice landing. Throw it, man. Yeah. I wouldn't say he's at, I wouldn't say he's at up throw a kill percentage just yet. Uh, no, up, not up throw. Um, up air, sorry. Yeah. But it's been off from the ground. I mean, from the air. Another grab. Wait for the air dodge. for it. He could have gone for it. He is now ready to kill with a back air. Trades with the up air. Good option by Zone to come off the ledge. Here we go. No, Zone is going to be antsy for that pin. He knows that's his meal ticket. I'm liking that Brad is remaining patient, remaining vigilant so that he doesn't get pulled by the pin. Great grab into the up air. Oh my god, it's killed. And that's not even a kill move. So close on both parts. Oh, and the back very hit of the nicely done. Very good recognition from Zone right there, doing the back kick in order to get the stock right there. Moving on to the bracket, winner's side. Zone sporting his freshest 2017 plastic pop-tart haircut. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Magic giving me that one.